how do I perform a more advanced analysis using MapleSim and Maple worksheets? In this example, we've added areas denoted by these green transparent rectangles in which we would like our mechanism to be in for a certain amount of time. The question we'd like to answer is, what is the maximum cycles per minute I can run my machine such that I am spending the required amount of time in these zones? One possible application for this type of analysis could be that I need a certain amount of time in these zones to turn on, say, a suction force so that I can move one object from here to the unloading area. To do this analysis, I've created a Maple worksheet, which is in my attach section, and I double click to open. So this is a worksheet that I've created specifically for this analysis and could always be adapted for whatever type of analysis is required for the mechanism. In this case, I'm able to specify the thickness of the that green transparent square, so that's the length, as well as the required time for both loading and unloading. So again, I'm specifying the amount of time I would like to the, like the mechanism to spend in each of those green transparent areas. I've created code in this calculate max CPM button which is then gonna find me the maximum cycles per minute I can run my mechanism such that these requirements are satisfied. We can see that as this system is taking uh, step by step that I'm converging on that maximum CPM value. And once it's complete, it's gonna report this value to me. So I can see that for these requirements, the maximum CPM is gonna be about 104.8 cycles per minute. I can then perform a second analysis. So in this case, perhaps I would like it to spend twice as long in the loading position. And I can calculate my new maximum CPM based on these requirements. Again, we can see that the system is converging to a solution. And we can see just by visually inspecting that it's already going to be lower than the previous 104 as expected. In this case, we see that we need about 77.9 cycles per minute is going to be our maximum value such that these requirements are met. This is one example of how we can take a, a certain question that we are trying to answer from our MapleSim model and custom create our own worksheets using embedded components, code from Maple, and performing simulations to get answers that we require.